Hey guys! We have a very special guest today. Meet our Vita Fish Chase! So we bought a Vita Fish, uh, you know, a few months before and we took so good care of it but it died. So we thought of buying a new Vita Fish and now we're gonna try our best to take care of it. So cute, right? Now we just bought this fish straight from the store. We didn't uh, transfer it to a bowl or anything. And you all know that Vita fishes are so energetic that like they need so much space to swim. So now we're gonna transfer him to a new bowl. Let's go. <laughs> transfer our beta fish to. So this is not tap water, it is well water. So um, our last beta fish, when we, we put our last beta fish in the same bowl, but we put some rocks and some other decorations. I think it's because of the rocks and the decorations. Maybe they have fungi or impurities that made the beta fish sick. So now let's transfer this beta fish into this bowl. any food for at least 24 hours. Then the next one is Aquaria Clear. This is a blue and green liquid and it is a preventive medicine if the, for the fish if the fish has any fungal diseases. So the next one is a fish net. So if you have a big aquarium or a fish bowl like this, you need, a, you need to use a fish net while taking the fish out. We couldn't do that uh, now because um, the bottle which, which the fish was in was so small, so this wouldn't fit inside it. And then you need to change the fish's water at least once a week. So this is uh, well water, not tap water. But if you want to use uh, tap water, then because uh, it has Chlorine, you've got to keep it for 24 hours so that the chlorine settles. So it's kind of difficult treating, uh, you know, giving stuff to the beta fish because it can get sick really fast. So uh, if you guys have fishes, make sure the tank is clean the or the fish bowl is clean. And if you're putting any accessories inside it, then that should be clean because then uh, the fish can get sick very fast and you will know that it's sick when its tails and fins are like 
ripped apart. Yeah, and yeah, guys, it's so good having fishes as fishes at home. It brings a lot of happiness. Like you can stare at it for hours, uh, seeing how naughty it is, like swimming here and there. It's so cute. So that's all about fishes. Now let's go out to the nature. Let's plant some seeds, and I'll tell you the story how I got the seeds in a bit. Put a little more soil on top and let's sprinkle some water. So we finished sprinkling some water. Now let's give some sunlight to our plants. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna keep it next to the window so that it can get the right amount of sunlight it needs and during every video i'm going to be showing you the growth of my plants so guys i feel so happy today i bought a beta fish transferred it to a new bowl and i also planted a seed so that's it for today until we meet next time plant more seeds guys goodbye buy the beat up fish they also give us the seeds so that we can make our nature colorful and containers and at the bottom of them we drilled oops okay um in the bottom we drilled some holes and um uh, we did that because it's the excess water needs to flow out uh, 